Hey, what's up, everybody? Today is the 26th, and I'm heading back to France. And it's a movie that I'm actually giving another try uh, for the... I believe it's the second time I've ever seen this movie. And uh, that movie is Brotherhood of the Wolf. And I'm joined once again by my, my co-host, Raina. Are you going to say hi? Or are you just going to meow and let everybody see you? Um, so... Okay, so funny story. I got to tell this story first. When we first went to see it. So this was in college. This was quite a while ago. I went and saw it with a bunch of friends because we saw the trailer and we were like, man, that looks like fun. That looks really cool. And so we went to go see it in a theater in Santa Cruz, a little small theater. Uh, and it was playing upstairs. Like the movie theater was like this weird, like four story ish theater in the way that it was built. And basically, it had one main movie theater on the ground level. And then you had to go up like two floors. And then there were two smaller ones on the sides uh, that made up the giant theater. I always forget what the name of the theater was. And so, you know, myself and like four or five other friends, we all went and saw this movie. Because we are all like, yeah, it's going to be, you know, Brotherhood of the Wolf. That's what we're going to go see. This is going to be badass and everything like that. And a friend of ours, he was taking French at the time, so he thought, hey, this would be great for French class. I'll take this, and, you know, I, I can see if my French is paying off. So we'll, we'll do all that. Uh, Zach's here, too. And he's chewing on Reina. Um, and I know it sounds bad, but he likes to, like, itch her for some reason. Uh, and so you're going to get your tail in the way, cat. Uh, and so we go there. We watch this movie. Most of us are bored out of our fucking mind. Um and uh like it's silly it's enough you know that we're laughing at it and we're, we're kind of cracking jokes in a not very filled theater then all of a sudden in the last 30 minutes of the movie so we've sat through this movie this movie is two and a half hours long okay this is a long fucking movie and i just watched the director's cut which is available on shutter right so it's even longer than when we originally saw it i think maybe it's not two and a half hours i think they added like an extra 15 minutes to the movie and so we we were watching it and then all of a sudden like i said in the last half hour of the movie when the big climactic battle is right about to happen the sound count cuts off complete silence utter silence we watched the last 20 minutes of this movie because we spent all this time watching this movie we watched the last 20 minutes of this movie in utter silence and so we get to watch the big climactic fight with no with nothing absolutely nothing and everybody in the theater is pissed off because everybody's like us and whether you liked it or not we're watching the end with with no audio period we still get to see the subtitles on the screen because you know none of us fucking speak french and but we're still like what the hell is going on what what exactly is happening with this and it's it's literally when you're, you're the main character like surprises everybody then all of a sudden he jumps down and boom no sound and so something happened in the theater and that's you know that's what we got and so we were all upset at the end of it having to sit through this movie having to sit through a lot of the yeah itching yourself uh, a lot of the other stuff that was going on in this movie and um it, it just it wasn't very fun uh, to, to do that. And I think that really hindered my enjoyment of the movie for the very first time that I saw it. And so that's why I was like, okay, you know what? It's on shutter. Let's go ahead and give it another try. Let's, let's see if it's as bad as I remember it was and, and how much I disliked it and everything like that. And I watched it today. Eh, it's, it's okay. It's, it's not as bad as that. And I think that really left a sour taste in my mouth, but some shit is just so damn silly in this movie. Uh, the fact that there's like, it's, you know, a, a period piece, but we've got martial artists. We got a uh, Filipino, Chinese, Hawaiian guy that's playing a uh, fucking Native American over there uh, and speaks perfect French, but at least they explain that. And actually, the, the guy that plays him, it's Mark something, starts with a D. He actually learned how to speak fluent French for this movie, which is pretty cool because he's American. But it's just like, okay, see, now Ace is, is busy licking her. Um, and, and like I said, 
Like, the story isn't bad, okay? It's it's not that bad, and it's about them going into a rural countryside of France being sent by the king because there's this beast that's killing a bunch of people, and he wants the, the beast dead, right? And stop terrorizing the countryside and stuff like that. But even the first kill in the movie is so goddamn silly. Like, I even laughed out loud with the lady, and it's, like, all dramatic. And she's like, oh, I'm being, I'm being attacked by the beast. And she's being dragged around and slammed against the rock and slammed against the rock and slammed against the rock. And it's just, like I said, there's just so many just silly things like that. The action pieces are cool, right? This is not necessarily, like, a straight-up horror movie. This is, like, a horror action movie. And you can't say that this is some artistic fucking masterpiece, because this is, like a generic action movie in France. That's what it feels like. Not like a generic, but I'm just saying like, you know, you go see a superhero movie, not all the superhero movies are going to be fucking deep. You know, like you go see Black Adam, it's nothing but fucking action and the story is nonsensical. Now, at least the story in here makes sense for everything that's going on, but it's just like some of these set pieces are just so bad and they're so funny. And especially like the last like big climactic fight. And even the last big climactic thing with the Beast is pretty bad too you know how we get to this point what we find out what the beast really is and all this shit and you think it's a werewolf the entire time and ain't no fucking werewolf and i don't know why they call themselves the brotherhood of the wolf when really the title i think refers to not them but a reference to our two main characters you know uh i, I can't remember either of their names because it's french well i know manny uh who's the indian or native american or iroquois um and, you know, his the, the main character, main character of the movie that, you know, can love somebody so much, but I'm still going to go and sleep with a whore, you know, in a brothel constantly. But don't worry, I'm going to come back to you. I'm going to love you. And then you're going to be like, oh, yeah, you love me, too. Oh, you slept with that woman, but you constantly were speaking my name in your sleep. Oh, my God, that means we're in love and everything's great, even though you were constantly fucking somebody else. Like, <sighs> shit like that. That just happens in this movie. So, you know, like I said, it's not bad. It's not great. You know, I think it's just an average movie with some laughable things. If the things weren't laughable and it was just bad, bad, I, I wouldn't give the rating I'm going to give it, which is three out of five chain swords. You know, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. And that was uh, inspired actually by Ivy from Soul Calibur, too. It's not like the, uh, when I remember what I saw, I'm like, hey, this reminds me of Soul Calibur. And it literally, you know, came from that, too. So, you know, again, it's on Shudder. Yeah, there's a lot of people that really, really, really love this movie. And I just don't get it. I really don't. Like I said, I don't think it's terrible. I don't think that it's the best movie that I've ever seen. You know, I just think that it's kind of mediocre. And it like it has good, some good fight scenes in it. And uh, it, it does not have CGI that holds up. Um, this CGI just does not hold up at all. So... You know, we'll have to just go from there. So, uh, yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you next time on one of these 31 and 31s. And we'll see where we're headed to tomorrow. Um, and we're down to the last four movies after this. So, hey, see you guys. <laughs>